Hi, it's Jan from Shabby Fabrics here to introduce a new opportunity for you. This is called Rosy Stars in the Elizabeth Flannel Collection. This is a good size quilt, warm and cozy. We're definitely entering into the colder months. I'm wearing two layers today for a reason. It's cold outside here in North Idaho. You may have recognized Rosy Stars. We came out with this quilt about a year ago in cotton. Debbie Beavis, the designer now for Robert Kaufman Fabrics. Uh, the Elizabeth collection was so popular that thankfully Debbie decided to re-release the collection and in flannel. I love that. And that quilt kit sold out so quickly. So if you missed it the first time, a rare opportunity to not miss it this time. We are uh, literally cutting those kits right now as well as the backing option. Be sure to pick that up. This warm and wonderful, perfectly coordinating backing, especially after all this wonderful piecing, uh, this quilt deserves that. A reserve means exactly what it says. You can reserve your kit, limited quantities, of course, uh, for just $10 for the quilt kit and $5 for the backing. And those go toward the cost of those. That's not like it's just a reservation fee. It goes toward the cost of those products. We bill you for the difference when they're ready and ship them to you with free shipping in the US anytime your order's over 75. And if you're somewhere out in the world, one of our maker quilter friends, we still are offering those discounted rates a year ago when we released Rosie Stars in cotton, we did, I did a full tutorial on the elements of this. We talked about the half square triangles, gave you some options, as well as the um, flying geese. Of course, the ultimate flying geese, one of my top three favorite tools Creative Grid does. So let's just roll right into that. Be sure to obviously reserve your kit, reserve uh, your backing. But the things that we use to make this beautiful quilt are on the table with me. Of course, this is a good size quilt. You're absolutely going to be using that big ruler, either the six and a half by 24 and a half or the eight and a half by 24 and a half, as you prefer to get those initial strips going. And then of course, we're graduating, graduating into those smaller rulers, maybe the six and a half by 12 and a half, whatever you, you know what you need in your sewing room. The things that are specialty though, that I really want to uh, call a specific attention to is if you're going to take the approach of the star singles, be sure to pick up the three inch star singles. That's what we love to do anytime we're making the star singles. We get to make eight at a time with minimal waste, maximum efficiency and accuracy, all really popular words um, in my in my vocabulary, all of those things we're looking for. The Ultimate Flying Geese is not mandatory, but is a highly encouraged notion. Getting these flying geese that are all parts of those star blocks, just perfect. So what that when you're sewing them into the greater block, they're just clicking in like a puzzle piece. You're not struggling with that. I love that. It's a slight oversized technique. Um, and then we're able to square, square that up. Again, check out that full tutorial. If you don't want to use the star sing singles to make those half square triangles, some people like the Creative Grid seam guide. You can lay this on the half square triangles, draw on either side, and now you're sewing on lines versus trying to seek a quarter inch. Um, anytime though, even when we're making our half square triangles with star singles, our flying geese units with the Creative Grid, Still, when it comes down to it, it's still up to us to sew our very solid and true quarter inch seam allowance. What that means is kind of the trifecta of products, the fresh blade, the patchwork pins, and definitely the quarter inch seam allowance. And to add a fourth item, obviously a good quality thread, probably a 40, or excuse me, a 50 weight. Um, we used an Aurofil on this one. But if there was ever a time you might consider sewing with a scant, I always consider that with flannel because of the bulk. If that's you, be sure to pick up the seam guide setter, which is specifically to set your machine up for the scant quarter. And then it also has the beautiful packs of the seam guide. Again, you could check that product out if you're interested in that. This one is uh, 
a rare opportunity that we see a beautiful floral come out in flannel. Normally we're seeing flannels kind of more in those fall tones, those darker tones. So I think this is a pretty special opportunity to grab this kit. Thanks for giving me a few minutes of your day to show you our new reserve opportunity for the Rosie Stars quilt kit and backing. See you soon. Mm -hmm.